Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So an interesting announcement recently made by Mozilla, Google and Apple uh, is that um, those three browser makers have announced recently that they are working together to build a new benchmarking service, an um, online benchmarking service, and it's going to be called Speedometer 3. Now currently um, we have Speedometer version 2 which i actually have featured in a previous video i did post where google uh, measured their chrome web browser on um, mac os and used a speedometer the online benchmarking tool to um, get the results for that test and i'll leave a link to that in the description but just a quick um, recap in case you're unaware what speedometer actually is um, briefly, it is a browser benchmark that measures the responsiveness of web applications and it uses demo web applications to simulate user actions such as adding to do items. Now, Mozilla, Google and Apple apparently in this announcement have said that to make things a lot fairer and um, basically to ensure a certain level of fairness and create a standard across the three different platforms, they are going to be integrating their different rendering engines into Speedometer, where currently that is not the case. So for Google, that would mean the uh, Blink V8 JavaScript engine. For Mozilla, that would be the Gecko Spider Monkey rendering engine. And for Apple, that would mean they would integrate their WebKit JavaScript core rendering engine. And that uh, means that in the future, it should uh, be a more reliable benchmark that not only works um, well for Chromium-based web browsers like Google Chrome, but also for mobile and Firefox as well. Now, while I start this test and just let that run in the background, just to give you a brief idea of what that's all about for the purpose of today's video, basically, um, they've also announced that their primary goal uh, is to make uh, Speedometer 3 reflect the real world web as much as possible. And um, when a browser does improve its score on the benchmark, actual users should benefit. And I'm actually quoting this from the announcement. So in order to achieve this, um, it should do three main primary things. Um, number one, um, test end-to-end -end user journeys instead of testing specific features in a tight loop. Um, evolve over time. Number two, adapt into the present web on a regular basis. And number three, be accessible to the public and useful to browser engineers. So that's their goal in order to achieve what they want uh, to be rolled out and made available with Speedometer 3. Um, it should um, achieve and reflect those three different goals. And at this stage though, um, it's not something we are gonna see uh, in the next couple of days. Speedometer 3, there's a, quite a bit of work to do. And apparently it's gonna take a couple of months. So um, the, you're not gonna see this right away. And then obviously if that does start rolling out and I do get any more information, I will obviously post and let you know accordingly. And that's my browser score, 93.1 and you can obviously test again and it can also give you some more in-depth uh, details regarding your test and a handy product especially if you are um, testing the different um, levels of browser responsiveness and we're using the speedometer benchmarking tool and as mentioned i'll leave a link to that previous video in the description below so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one